Hey, I'm Liv, and in this video, I'm going to give you my fifth anxiety hack. Take an ice bath. You're watching Anxiety Hacks, and this is the place where we talk about everything to do with mental health and well-being. A whale has been spotted splashing and playing off Sydney, enjoying the winter sun as it migrates to warmer waters. So I can't say that I've particularly been, have taken an ice bath because, well, I feel like it's a lot of effort. One, you've got to have a bath. Two, you've got to fill it up with cold water. And three, you've got to add like a crazy amount of ice cubes. But I hear this works for a lot of people. And I used to do... Um, something called lake standing when I was living in the South Island, which is a cold, a really cold area. There's snow and stuff. So after snowboarding, you would go and stand in the lake so that the lactic acid that you've built up in your legs from snowboarding throughout the day can get out of it, get out of your legs. Uh, and it was really effective. It was like a going for a massage or stretching I mean we still did those things not the massages but like stretching um but easier and more better for your body I think it has more to do with the metabolic system and specifically for anxiety uh I go for swims or I take cold showers my counselor used to tell me to put my hands in a in like a small like a plate with some ice and water on it um, to help me stop biting my nails. And what's the other thing? Oh, yeah, just dipping your head in cold water if you're having a panic attack, which actually could be, sounds like a bit of a dumb response, but this has worked for me. Like if I have had anxiety, had well, like started having a panic attack and just getting myself into like a cold body of water or um getting my face splashed with some cold water actually just resets everything and makes your body have to chill out and like get that breathing going like steady again I don't know so yeah maybe try give that a go um I know that swimming always makes me feel so much better so but I know not everybody has the luxury of being by somewhere you can swim lucky for me it's just down the road <laughs> the beach I mean so I will hop in the water in the evenings and this week uh, I've, I've pledged myself that I'm going to try go in the water for 10 minutes uh, in the evening every evening because it's really also good for you, for you to be able to practice mindfulness in the water, you know, being present with that temperature, your breathing, steadying it and I don't know, swimming. Yeah, it can't be bad for you, can it? <laughs> anyway uh, I hope this helps thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe because it really helps me out so see you later